William had $500. He spent 24% of his money on transport and 36% on food. What percentage of his money was left? When solving a word problem, we always want to look at the information that's given to us first. We're told that William had $500 in all. So when we draw our bar, we can start by drawing the entire bar and labeling the whole amount $500. We are then told that 24% of his money was spent on transport. So we can label 24% of our bar with 24%. We then are also told that 36% was spent on food. So we're going to estimate 36% of our whole bar and we're going to label that 36%. We want to find what percentage of his money was left. So the remainder is going to be our question mark. This is what we're searching for. Now before we can continue solving, we need to remember one important thing, and that is that $500 is the whole amount, but $500 represents 100% of William's money. So the percentages on our bar will add up to 100%. So to find our question mark, we will take our whole percentage, which is 100%, and subtract our 24% and 36%. 100 minus 24 minus 36 equals 40%. So 40% of his money was left. We can then get rid of our question mark and add in 40% for the remainder. We now want to find how much money was left. So we know that 40% of his money was left, but now we want to find the actual dollar amount. So we can label the 40% with a question mark. Now we're looking for 40% of the whole amount, of the whole dollar amount. So we're finding 40% of 500, which is 40% times 500. We then want to rewrite this as a fraction so that we can solve. So 40% is the same as 40 hundredths times 500, which is 500 over 1. Now as we solve, we can now look to cross cancel. 500 and 100 are both divisible by 100, so we can cross cancel and divide both of those by 100. We are now left with 40 over 1 times 5 over 1, which equals 200 over 1, which is the same as 200. And don't forget our whole amount is in dollars, so our answer is also going to be in dollars. 40% of $500 is $200. So $200 was left.